It's an unsolved case that still haunts the University of Arizona Museum of Art. 30 years ago, a painting stolen from the museum. Today, it would be worth millions. The FBI, the lead investigator. Tonight, a look back at the heist and why the museum isn't giving up hope. It was the day after Thanksgiving 30 years ago. Around 9 a.m., a couple walks into the Museum of Art. Hello. Good, how are you? While the woman distracts a security guard upstairs. Using a razor, the man cuts Willem de Kooning's woman ochre right out of the frame, never to be seen here again. The heist would have taken about 15 minutes, and the original frame is still here at the museum. If you look closely, you can see pieces of it attached to the frame. Among the 6,000 objects here, the empty frame still haunts everyone in the building. Every security decision we make now has been influenced by this incident and by this theft. Now, security cameras at every corner. The stolen painting would be hanging among the works of Jackson Pollock and Georgia O'Keeffe. The abstract expressionist movement was very big in the United States um, post-World War II, and so having this de Kooning was a very important piece of our collection. Over the years, there have been some leads, but few details. I wish we knew more. Here's a sketch of the suspects from the Arizona Daily Star in 1985. Some speculate they may have been wearing disguises. No one really knows why they chose woman ochre, but with the upcoming anniversary, the museum remains hopeful. 30 years is a time when a collection can change hands, either from one member of a family to another, maybe it's trying to be sold, um, and often people inherit artwork or come into artwork that they don't realize is stolen. Today, the painting may be worth up to $160 million, but as anyone here will tell you, you can't put a price on solving this mystery at the museum. About 80% of museum thefts in the U.S. are committed by staff members, an inside job. Investigators say the fact that these were strangers makes this case unusual. If you have any information, you can contact the FBI or U of A police. All of that is on our website. That's kagun9.com.